and core hall building. Where is there's another type of building? Tarsonis. Yeah, these ones are a little bit smaller. Never mind. Uh, this one is big. There's a small one. So I can put one on like a little apartment there, maybe. Right there, so it doesn't cover our light and it doesn't cover too much of the player vision. And these buildings, by the way, don't have pathing, so you'll need to put block the units around it. And uh, maybe a little apartment was here. That wasn't the best position on that water tank because it's blocked by this building, so the player can't even see it. Um, but it's still okay. And then let's go, and now to make this sort of more visible, you go up to your lights. This is what's kind of fun. Let's make some red lights. Maybe this, uh, it's too intense. Maybe this thing has a red light. I'm going to fix this a bit, actually. It's kind of annoying me. It's too intense. I need to turn down the, uh, the contrast, I believe. Okay. Yeah, the colors are sort of over overly done. Maybe it's the, uh, uh, where is it? Maybe it's the diffuse multiplier. There we go. I went way too high on that one. Yeah, that's better. And actually, sorry, I have to go back again. Um, my colorize was a bit high, I think. And my saturation, there we go. I think that's a bit better. This looks a bit more normal. Um, but I do actually prefer it a bit darker because this looks almost daytime. So I'm going back again to make that small change. Uh, colorization and I think I will up the contrast actually and up the colorize actually wh what does more saturation there that's good so now it's now I think this is ideal it was a little bit ins insane before uh, maybe some maybe some blue we'll put a blue around Rob's guns uh, it's too close okay. there we go maybe uh, one of these here Maybe one up here. No, it, it just looks nice. It doesn't have to make sense. But if you just place them nicely, and you know these always have like the orange lights at night. That looks kind of purple. I don't know how that's orange. Uh, I don't know, maybe in blue lights around our, uh, around our wall here, because the electricity. And maybe a little blue light there. It kind of just makes your map look really nice. Maybe a little tiny red one outside this thing. I mean, it's like a... This map is basically insanely colorized, but it's pretty cool, you gotta admit. And it's pretty thematic. I mean, if you zoom in here and go in like you're a player, like down here, this is pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, pretty realistic. And if I could do a first-person shooter, this would be pretty cool. Um, you, don't, you can obviously do more stuff and make a bigger city, put some more palm trees maybe. I don't know, put one right here. Um, but anyways, this is all I wanted to show for this part. And let's go to the units tab. Actually, let's go to the pathing tab by hitting H. And we want to do this. We want to add pa paint path. We want to do the add pathing option. And we want to do the no pathing. So this will allow no unit to walk there. But if you're doing like a tower defense, you could do no building and paint some no building area or whatever you want. And or this is allows ground. Um, you can do no uh, no fly zones, but I'm going to do no completely no pathing. So I don't want the user to be able to walk in here. You can see the pathing painting. I don't want them to walk around this area. Um, and maybe these, because these, these buildings don't have any sort of collision built into them, so we need to do that. And I believe these do. And maybe I don't want the user to walk around here. That's good. And these buildings, by the way, as I mentioned, don't have pathing at all. And... Uh, I think that's good in terms of pathing for now. Um, let's hit escape and go press U to go to the units tab. And for player one, I'm just going to place a Terran. Where's Terran? Let's place a Reaper. That'll be fun. Um, okay, and let's do the uh, let's do the camera triggers. So let's go to triggers. Um, and let's go close, open that, and delete all these. And then do a new action. Camera. Pan the camera for player one. That's good. Two. And then here we go to value or. Oops. I mean function unit. Position of unit. 
and then click the unit and change it to our Reaper we just made over zero seconds we want it to be right away 100 um, and then zero deceleration because we want it to be right away and copy paste the next thing we want is a uh, camera we want to where is it follow there we go follow for player one that's good um, last created units you want to change this to function convert unit to unit group and then pick this unit and clear current target and the last thing you want to do to prevent any sort of changing by the player is to lock the camera input for player one now the problem with this is actually that uh, I'm just gonna save it right now the problem with this is that um, the player is pretty much locked out on their camera except for one small area and that one small area is that they can click the portrait of the unit and it'll completely disable this this follow it'll still be locked but then the unit can just walk away off screen and right now what I'm trying to do is lock the camera onto the unit so the way to fix that the, the, I haven't found a way to actually fix that using to fix that to prevent it but I found a way to fix it by simply adding a dialogue box with a button that says fix camera so the player can click it and it'll center back on their unit if they accidentally click the portrait um, so I'm going to be showing that to dialogue uh, let's create a dialogue actually before we create it let's make some new global variables oops why is that up here can I just drag it over here no I can't so new new variable um, so the variables we want is the camera refresh dialogue and that's just going to be our dialogue and then copy paste and this one is going to be the camera refresh dialogue dialogue button and since it's only one button it doesn't have to be an array it's just going to be a dialogue item okay and let's go back here so create a modal we want non-modal meaning that the player can click it and still play the game at the same time if you had this as just modal um, it would black out the rest of their screen sort of thing and then make them have to choose an option so we don't want that uh, let's make this 300 and these I, these numbers here I've tested that's why I'm doing this so quickly but it took me a while to get the right positioning um, of the button and everything relative to the top left of the screen and then we want to paste and you don't have to copy paste like I do I just like to do that you can just go new action uh, set variable okay set camera refresh dialog to equal uh, last created dialog good copy paste and then this thing we want to do is to create a button so where is that button there we go for you could leave this as last created dialog however I'm going to just pick mine with dimensions uh, you want 250 and 60 to fit nicely I'm um, these are just numbers I worked out earlier as I've said anchor to the top left with an offset of 25 and 10 um, and we want the tooltip to be blank is good and button text button text will be fix camera oops don't press enter I keep doing that every tutorial I do that uh, and then we want to copy paste this set variable and we want to set our button to be the last created dialog item and save okay and we also want to show the dialog otherwise the player will never see it and let's show dialog could leave this as last created dialogue but again I'm just gonna pick it just to be safe for all players that's good and safe okay so our camera's gonna lock on and now we have a fixed camera button but we don't have anything to react to that button when it's pressed so we need to make a new uh, trigger um, fixed camera let's call it and event will be and yeah, let's see dialogue dialogue item is used and the 